first and foremost, I just want to say a disclaimer that this video is my experience only. This is a community. We're all friends here sharing knowledge uh, through my lens, so it is subjective. And this is not to judge anyone else for wanting to get breast implants. I think a lot of more people are talking about it, which is great that the idea is surfacing on what breast implant illness actually is and I think it's important that you need to listen to your body above anything else, above other people's opinions, above what you see in, in magazines and social media. So this is a message to be kind to one another. A little hug over here. There, there you go. I hope that wasn't too much. Hello, hello. Hi friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Candice Faith and or Candelicious, whatever you like to call me. Um, I am a certified personal trainer, foodie, mental health advocate, all of the above. We're going to get into a whole bunch of videos with plenty of variety in the future. Warm welcome. Such a convoluted narrative about getting it, not getting it, what it entails. And I'm the person to go to because I have gone through so much in such a short time frame of getting these implants in and out. As a new NPC bikini athlete, I wanted to share how I felt on stage, off stage, during prep, all of that. So we're going to get into the video. I'm not going to go too much into why I got them done, more of um, of why you don't need them in a sense. Because this whole experience was really traumatizing actually. Like if, when you're growing up as a woman, it's hard enough. And I think growing and trying to find your own and you have all of these images on media sites, it doesn't help a person's cognitive growth thinking that they have to constantly be better because I guess that was my issue when I was growing up and I don't want to get too much in depth about that no one pressured me my parents didn't my significant others didn't even though there were liking pictures that were not clearly nothing that looks like myself um, but I didn't have outside pressure. It was more internal of like, well, I can be better, let's be better. And to pursue this career of being pretty shallow or modeling and all of this that left my soul quite empty and made me feel like I was never gonna live up to an expectation. It just felt right that I needed to do that because if I don't get it done, someone else will be hired who will and you know that's not a great mentality to to live by I finally saved up all my coins and dollars to save up the hefty total of seven grand now when i went to the doctor i had a um sort of like a family friend referral because she got hers done and i i was like oh my gosh where did you get them done what was your experience like implant illness is a term that some women and doctors use to refer to a wide range of symptoms that can develop after undergoing reconstruction or cosmetic augmentation with breast implants it is also sometimes referred to as autoimmune inflammatory syndrome produced by adjuvants asia I, my weight was 155 maybe 160 so I wasn't as lean as I am now but nonetheless my cup size to start was like a 32b I am a 32a right now but I I was quite small so imagine having 500 cc's and each like both of them like a little bit more and it would be like a cat size like my the size of my cat like can you believe how heavy i wish i can just have you try them on <laughs> or like throw it at someone and see like th these are heavy it's not just like it was almost tricking my mind to like it like no i must be something else because i wanted these for such a long time since i was 17 like why 
why do I feel like poop? And I feel like the, it's hard to get into it, like, I feel like the right one was lowering more than the left one. And I was like, I can literally feel rippling in my breast. So I went back three months later and I was thinking, I was like, yo, can you fix this? This is like, do you see how big this is pushing my skin? And pretty much they, you once you get it done, you get it done. They did the procedure right. If they didn't kill you, they did the procedure to its perfection. So it was me who had to go back and really make a decision if I wanted this because to read it out first and then I'm gonna discuss what I, my personal experience of what I went through. So anxiety or depression, brain fog, chronic fatigue, dry mouth, dry eyes, gastrointestinal problems, hair loss, headaches, joint muscle pain, rashes, skin problems, and weight changes. Now out of the two, four, six, eight, ten, I probably had eight or seven. Um, anxiety or depression, I'm gonna talk about that later. I think that I just got a hold of the reins not so long ago and that takes divine help from above, not just having your breast implants taken in or out, but I will say that having them in, I felt chronic fatigue. I was always tired. I was like, I was never like, I know I'm tired and I like to take naps and I know work is tough, but I was like, even waking up in the morning, I was like, I, I don't want to get up because it hurts. Like, I don't want, I need to separate is this, you know, from depression? Is this, and it could, very well could be, but even now, it took me after training for the NPC and noticing the energy that I had from there, there was still a lot of mental work I had to do to get out of that state of mind of being in that dark place. So I have to attest that the anxiety or depression was not anxiety or depression, it might have just been anxiety because I just felt this pressure of like, I can't fully, fully breathe. I can't inhale or exhale. The next one is brain fog. And I had that 100%. I feel like when people would talk to me or when I would walk in stores, I would just feel this constant, you know, like I was just existing. I don't even know, like I wasn't even connected to my body. It was, it's such a hard thing to explain, especially for men to understand of how it feels to have a foreign object in your body. But it's, I attest that you are not crazy if you're going through this, because when I had them removed, everything was alleviated. I felt like I saw in color, like, like Twilight when she woke up and she's seeing an HD, like, that's how I felt like even with contacts like I can't even I have wear contacts because I can't I'm nearsighted so that's how I felt I felt like I can see color again like I was just immediately pain was was I was relieved from all the pain um also my digestion and this was the biggest thing because I was training like hard and I feel like I was always bloated no matter what I was eating on avocado if I was eating oatmeal everything and I was getting so angry because I was like why is this and a lot of people who compete have them and maybe they don't go through that um, like I said this video is not to judge anybody but I went through that wholeheartedly I was like you know if I do this you know this is another reason why I want like do that you need to have it for the stage and I have to say a hundred percent no you don't what you need to have is confidence in being yourself and granted, I just did one competition, but you know, the plan is to be myself. And so far that seems to be working as the secret sauce. So, you know, um, only you can say how far you can go. Not other people, not judges, not your family, not friends, not anything. You have to make the decisions for you. My family couldn't do that for me. I had to decide that this feels wrong and to follow my gut instinct. Um, I felt super bloated and I felt angry 
uh, that people were walking around the street because it hurt to run, it hurt to walk, it hurt to do push-ups. And I think that was the toughest part about all of this traumatic experience of being in surgery, getting, I'm like, what for? I felt immediately better getting them off. Like I'm talking an hour, like still in the recovery bed, I felt better because there was so long where I was in bed, closing my eyes, praying for the for the pain to be gone. Would be after sharing the story, is to do your research. Go through the cost. Is it financially not going to make a difference? Because I paid it in full the first time, but right now I am still suffering the repercussions of paying for my breast implants removed and thank god for credit cards because i was like i cannot have them one second left in my body i'm going to die like that's how miserable i felt with these breast implants so please do your research um you begin to think because some other person has a good experience that it's gonna apply to you. And when you're younger, you're like, oh, I'll cut my body, put it through anything. But when you actually do though, when you actually put your body through that, you're like, my body does everything to heal me. I've given my body the sufficient food, training, love, and no matter what I do, no matter what I think, my body is capable of growing muscle, of sculpting it how you want to, of getting over illnesses, of protecting yourself with like cuts and bruises. Why, why would I put myself under a knife to please society because I don't think that I'm enough. And I'm here to tell you that you are enough. My suggestion before getting any plastic surgery would not only to do your research, but to reach your highest genetic potential when it comes to training and building your muscle and earning it. And then once you see your body there, because obviously you can't get like breasts by doing chest exercises, but once you get to your best genetic like potential of working out, you're like, huh. I'm like, I really didn't need it to begin with. I really like myself. So knowledge and bettering yourself and um, this is not for negativity. This is not for judgment. This is my experience. And I'm so grateful that you're a part of it if you've listened for this long for it. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Um, please click the links below to subscribe to the channel and to research more articles about the BII and thank you so much for watching um, I'll see you later alligator